Hi, I'm Owen Casey Stevens, and this is the story of how my mother saved Christmas, at least for me. Um, it's also a story of how I came to realize that I was taking Christmas in all the wrong spirit, and that I'd sort of been a little shit. Uh, when I was younger, um, at the very oldest in my early teens, and it may have been a, a little younger than that even, uh, I got really sort of down on Christmas because I was not interested in toys or socks or a lot of those other things, at least in that narrow band of my life. What I wanted was a sense of excitement and adventure. I, I wanted Gandalf to show up, and or I wanted the, the wardrobe to open to Narnia. I wanted an adventurous experience. And so when my mother asked me what I wanted for Christmas, that's what I told her. Now, my mother was like, well, we could take a trip, or you could go on the train. And this is the part where I was a little shit. I was just like, no, no, no. I want real adventure and excitement. That's the only thing I'm interested in for Christmas. Um, looking back on it, I cannot imagine how difficult it must have been for my mother, and we were a, a decent income middle class family, to be told that the only thing I was conceivably interested in was an adventure, which normal adventures weren't cutting it, clearly. I wanted to go swashbuckling, sword and sorcery, high space, marine, adventuring. And that's not something that they sell in the Sears catalog. So, knowing that it was impossible for my mother to get me the only thing I asked for, and being too self-absorbed to ever consider that I was possibly ruining her Christmas by not letting her buy me something normal and reasonable, I moped from early December, when this first came up, all the way up to Christmas Day. And on Christmas Day, we went to open our stockings, which is what my family did, we'd open stockings first, and I found that what I had on my stockings were two rolls of quarters and a series of coupons for my mother to take me to the local mall which had an arcade, so that I could have adventures. And I thought, that's actually really kind of awesome. This was before home video systems were much more advanced than Pong. This was an opportunity that my mother would allow me to go, take my money, and if I wanted to fight aliens or mutants or swords, whatever I wanted to do, that was an opportunity. And I cheered up a little bit. I thought my mother's actually done this really great thing. And then later in the day we opened our main presents, which included for me a whole bunch of Tunnels and Trolls solo adventures. She knew that I was really into Tunnels and Trolls at the time, and that I didn't have anyone to play with. And I'd only found one of these things before, and she'd apparently gone all over Oklahoma and made phone calls and ordered things and talked to people at the university who played such games so she could get as many solo adventures as possible. And I thought, wow, that's, that's really neat. This is hours and hours and hours of adventuring I have available to me. And then the other thing that she got me were a whole bunch of collections of short stories, science fiction and fantasy short stories, with notes that any time I found an author I liked, there would be an additional gift of being taken to a bookstore to buy books by that author. So it was a, a vast sampler of opportunities for adventure. Uh, it's also where I ran into James White, who did the brilliant Sector General stories, and I, he had a short story in one of those. I ended up buying everything on the Sector General line. And it was an awesome Christmas, and for months, maybe the whole year, any time I started to be even the littlest bit down, I could write could tell my mother to take me to the mall, and I could play video games, or I could play solo adventures and Tunnels and Trolls, or I could read a brand new short story by an author I had never even heard of before. I, it was one of the best Christmases ever. I thanked my mom profusely at the time. Many years later, when I was older and thought back about that, I, I did go and apologize to her and tell her that I knew I must have really, really, really put her on the spot, and that she had really come through in a phenomenal way and saved Christmas for me. It is one of my fondest memories, and it really was the moment where I realized that I should not treat Christmas as a time that I can get things, but as a time where I can share experiences with family and friends and try and help other people. So not only was it as a young person and an amazing opportunity to have fun and adventure and all the things that kind of came to define my leisure time, it was also literally the moment where the concept of Christmas was saved for me, and I have treated it differently ever since. So, thanks, Mom.